Now, NBC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Scary stuff. I know you'll be watching that storm, mm -hmm. Marissa. Back here at home, though, we're looking forward to a warm up. A warm up and will be mostly dry and quiet up here. Thankfully, that hurricane is staying well off to our south in the Gulf over there. But we're definitely thinking of those for sure in our neck of the woods. As I mentioned, quiet and calm today in terms of our weather, but we will notice it warming up, especially as we head into later on this afternoon into the 80s. And we also increase the humidity with that southerly breeze and it will be picking up at times today locally between 10 and 20 knots. There could be a few spots maybe upwards of that along Lake Champlain and that brings wave heights between two and four feet. So if you're heading out boating, this is definitely a forecast you'll want to pay attention to especially as we work towards the fireworks festivities of course later on tonight out by the Burlington waterfront and across the region it'll be mild after 8 o'clock tonight temperatures still staying in the mid and upper 70s a few clouds will be in the sky later on but we won't rule out a spot shower especially in the St. Lawrence Valley later on tonight but not enough to necessarily need the umbrella um, in my opinion in the Northeast Kingdom, we're pretty sunny and it's usually one of those spots that's actually pretty cloudy. We're seeing more of those clouds off to our west and northern New York dealing with some of those clouds and we can see that looking west from Lake Champlain. You can see though some of these showers working through the St. Lawrence Valley are really starting to fizzle out and that'll be the case as we head into the next half hour or so. So maybe a few raindrops in Messina, nothing crazier than that. As we head into later on this afternoon, a lot of the clouds higher in the sky do start to thin out as we work towards two, three o'clock. So it will be a mostly sunny day. And then as we work towards eight, nine o'clock, more clouds start to start to filter in. And that's where we see some of these downpours popping, popping up mainly in northern New York, say between 11 and shortly after midnight. There may be a quick rumble of thunder within those, but not to a severe extent, which is great news. Now tomorrow morning, a mostly cloudy start to the day. I don't think we'll have a super bright sunrise upon us. There may be a couple light rain showers moving through in the upper valley, but not enough to halt any plans for parades tomorrow because as we work towards 9 and 10 o'clock tomorrow, the sky starts to brighten up and we'll have a mix of sun and clouds as we head into Thursday night as well. So the next three days are looking great. The 4th of July, it's going to be very, very humid. Feels like temperatures probably in the lower 90s and Friday looking pretty good as well. Still sticking with the humidity, partial sunshine in the 80s and Saturday also continuing to be pretty warm, but we do watch for some scattered showers and thunderstorms but that's mainly an afternoon concern, which is good news. So if you're staying in our neck of the woods, the forecast for the most part is looking pretty dry and with plentiful sunshine, even as we work towards Sunday, looking pretty good temperatures in the 80s and even Monday looking great with a mix of sun and clouds.